Today we've got the opportunity of meeting a real miner. This is Herbert. And hey, pleased to meet you, Herbert. Thank you very much. I understand you were a prisoner of war. How old were you at the start of the war? 17 years. I had to go because I was a naughty boy. Did you work in mining in your home country or was it something you only took up as a prisoner of war? No, I worked in the mine when I was uh, 14 years old. But I was a shot fireman when I was 16 and a half and a driller. Which mines did you work at during the war and did you continue in these mines after the war? Yes, but I had to go on a farm first because I was a prisoner of war. And uh, 1953, yeah, no, 48. You no more prisoner, you can work where you want to. like to go. So I went straight to the lead mine in Kirken, in the uh, Riddermoyne, eh? in Riddermoyne. And uh, they said to me, yes, you can start here. Well, I said to them, and I showed them the, the papers, that I was a, uh, a driller and a shot fireman, like, and I was doing everything myself. Oh, that's, that's what we want. So I worked there till 1953, and her mother died. Yeah, and uh, I said to her, I give it up. I said, because uh, I couldn't talk much English and everything. And then they said, we go home. In 1953, Christmas, we were just before Christmas, we went home. And I started on Boxing Day. I started in, in, in the firm in Germany back again. Like, in the mine. Yeah. So uh, that's what that, that I done a nice years there. 1963, we had an explosion in the mine, and there was five got killed, and I was lying underneath the stone. That was in Hockerhoven. But they fetched me out, and I was nearly one and a half year in hospital. And then from there on. Uh, they said to me, we can't send you down below no more because you had that accident. Well, I said, what do you want to do then? Well, he said, you come on top. So I was by the police looking after the mine, like, you know, yeah. and, and everything, yeah. That's what they done, and 1968, 69, they said to me, we make you as a workman no more, you don't want to work, you can go on the door. I said, what? I can go on the door. I said, I'm not, I'm, I'm working. And no, you can't. We leave your go now. You get, you get more money for you as when you were working. I said, I have not the money yet. So I went to the court case with them and, and I lost the case. I had to go. But what, the, what, what did I do? I was by the by the police said, uh, you know, looking after, after the, the mines and everything. And then somebody came to me and he said to me, listen here, uh, there's a big firm in... Uh, Linnich. In, in Linnich, Linnich is about uh, five miles away from our place, like, uh, and they like to have you. Well, I said, what for? I said, well, he said, I was in the fire brigade and I was in the in the team from the 
having a look all the time what happened in the mine okay. with the lamp and and I got special things to see if there was any any trouble or, or what like you know. and then they said to me uh, you can do it by us but you don't go down you work in the, in the firm as a fire brigade man like you know. and I said all right I said but, but hang on I didn't do it I only can be a, a working police or somebody sitting there on, 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 on the window and, and, and asking where you want to go and, and leave them in, yes or no, or something like that. He said to me, why? Well, I said, hang on. I said, if I work here now and I get money paid every month, they take the, they take the rent off me. Eh? All right then, what can you do then? Well, I said, I'm, I'm a policeman here, looking, looking around and everything like that. Okay, that's what they've done. So I, I, made, a, I made a thing in, for them in, in, in Germany, <laughs> for, the, for the government. They didn't know I had money from pension and I had money from that firm. <laughs> That was very good, like in it. I had about three to four thousand pounds a month. Yeah. And nineteen hundred and uh, eight nine nine nineteen hundred and eighty nine, eh, it was oh, eighty eight. I finished there in the firm and they said to me from now on you invalid. So, and I, I found out after I had the papers to make me a full invalid, no more working. And I said, well, what about the pay payments now? Yes, you get it. Do you need money now? Well, I said, I always need money. I said, what, what do you want to give me? Well, he said, how much you want? Well, I said, give me four, four or five thousand uh, uh, German money, like that. Yes, you can have it. You get paid back on everything. So they gave me the money and I went home. And really, I had 2,800 German marks every month. And after, and every year more, like in it. And I get my pension now till I die. And that is 3,500 euro. That means 3,200 pound a month. Yeah. Well, well, I was working in the mine, peace work, like in the, for, I, I wasn't on the coal. I seen the coal, yes, but I wasn't on the coal. I was only made tunnels and shafts. The deepest shaft I drilled was 1,200 meters. Meters? Deep. 27 degrees heat down below. Not bad. Yeah. What type of mines have you worked in? Sofia Jacoba is the mine. Sofia Jacoba. And uh, that was the biggest mine in the world. We had about nine shafts. And I built one, two shafts up out of concrete, solid concrete and not in iron frames. And we built it up 120 meters high and then put the machines right in the top with the wheels and the ropes to let the cage down and down. And they were taking the wagons for to fill up with coal and pull it up. And in one wagon 
here you got a wagon from there to here in the mine and we had a wagon that was 20 ton in one wagon and they, and, and they, were, they were pulling it up there was one two three four five six seven eight nine wagons in with every wagon 20 ton and when they were taking the when we had to go under the, on the cage to come down to down below like that hey, there was about 120 miners in one way down I worked in the, uh, I worked here with the uh, English yeah yeah there but I was a uh, I had to go to London and uh, I made the short fireman again there and I was allowed not only doing the shooting the exploding in the mine I could go on top as well so you know when somebody came and he said I got a big uh, uh, stone in the field uh, could you break like then I went there and blew it up or, or the trees the roots no, they couldn't get the trees the, the roots out I blasted them up <laughs> what form of lighting was available to miners during the war well I I had a very small lamp not a big one because I had a lamp with a, not petrol, but, but it was a flame inside to measure always if there was any gas or something. Yeah? Yeah. And I had to work Saturdays and I had to work Sundays to keep an eye on it if everything was right and then I gave the order yes they can do it and I was a specialist in uh, helping when there was an explosion in Holland in Belgium or in France then I had to go because I was a specialist for making the way into the flame with the masks and everything like in there and the bottles on my back and I went there and we put a big pipe there for about 20 yards I built three walls one with the with the material that wouldn't burn then a sand material with sand packs and the other one was with dirt like where they make bricks and things of fun like in it and then I put a big pipe in there after 15 hours later I had to go open the pipe and I scraped to it like in it only about 20 yards and then I was on the other side and then I went in there and I had a look everywhere and I came back and I gave it free you could take the walls away now and uh, it's free it's no more danger there like that and we had what what I had to look at was the, the beams have you been down below in, in the mine once before? Yeah. When there was an explosion, we put big cardboard things on top with, with, uh, with the stone me pressed like powder, like in it. And we put it on there. And when there was an explosion, they tipped and they wouldn't let the explosion go through because after every explosion you get a detonation back and that when it comes back is more dangerous than the first bang 
né? Assim, yeah, that, that, was, but, uh, that was my work, like, you know, drilling. And I, I remember I was drilling, I, was, I drilled about three yards, uh, three meters every day. I was going three meters further and there was a big tunnel and the bigger the longest tunnel I, I made with it was from uh, Hückerlofen to Holland and then the, they were trying to find me after because I was, I was too far I was about 20 yards in Holland <laughs> and they told me to stop so we had, after that I had to go how dangerous was mining in those days? Mining is always dangerous because we had during the war a lot of prisoners from Russia, from England, yeah, from America and they had to work in the mine. And my job was to keep an eye on them. And I always found somebody had a, a box of matches in their pocket and the cigarettes. And they were start, starting to smoke. Right? Well, I flung them out. Off, off you go, can't, we can't have you. Did you ever work with pit ponies? Horses, yeah. yes. Yes, we had uh, we had horses there, but not right down below. It was in the first first tunnel, about 200 yards down. Yes, and then those horses were only most likely for the new ones what started to be a minor youngsters, like in it. They, they, they learned there, but down, right down below, no, there was only the trains and... I assume you've worked with, in mines in Germany, how did they differ from British mines? It was, it was not much different uh, to work, we had to do, we had to work in, in, in England, <laughs> we had to work in Germany, like in it. The, the only thing in Germany, in, in uh, Germany, I was a like a foreman, like in it. I was going round and lo looking, and I was drilling and blasting, and then it was for me finished, like in it. I could go, but here in England, I was only uh, shooting, blasting, keep the tunnel going, keep the tunnel going, like in it. And that's what I done. Do you like being underground? Would, would you do it as a hobby as we do? Yes, I was a miner every time, always like that. Uh, how did I came to be a miner? My father was a miner. In 1940, when I found that British pilot in the field, they put me to jail and things like that, like in there. But anyhow, they were quite happy to have me there because I was willing to go there and keep an eye on the mine. It doesn't matter if it was Christmas or New Year or what, I had to go. Saturday or Sunday I had to go to make everything sure that the miners the mine can work and there'd be no trouble nowhere like in there. There's five five of us were there. We were going round. Did you ever break into natural caves during mining operations? I went, when I went down there, I, I kept an eye on the main tunnel, most likely on the main tunnel. I said, I, I haven't seen much coal where I worked on, like, but I had to go in 
and see when they were the machines were taking the coal out and they got the pan the panzer there where the coal dropped on and and went to the main tunnel like in it to fill the tops the machine that was going forward forward all the time forward and in the back there was a hole round a hole because they digging all the coal out see and I had to keep an eye on it the ceiling must come down to break down with the stones here yeah? but some in some places we were going forward and forward and the ceiling wouldn't come down then I had to go in there drill holes put powder in and explode it and make it, made it to come down Most of the mines that we go into are very wet. How have you coped with the conditions? Do you think it has affected your health in any way? Well, I'm telling you, I had a couple of years. I only had my shoes on, the big shoes with the iron cap, yeah. I had a shorts on, no shirt, nothing naked, because it was warm. It was nearly under 30, 40 degrees down below, like in it. If you could live your life again, would you consider being a miner? Yes, I love the mine. And 1934, my uncle was working in Sheffield. He was making cutlery. And he worked there. And he came 1934 to visit my father because he was a relation with my, was my uncle. And he said, Well, I must tell you something. In Wales was a very high explosion and they lost. 260 people, uh, miners. So, I put it in my head. Yeah. <clears throat> so, <coughs> when I'm when I went to the army and I was in prison camp in America and I came back to uh, England I was thinking about it I said and now I'm in England and I'm in Wales and that must have happened in Wales so I was trying to find out and they said to me, yes, it was in Cresford and that was not far from Kilken where, where I worked in Lengne. So I had to go there and I was nosy. I wanted to know the firm, I wanted to see the shaft and I wanted to see the firm and I must say it was a small shaft, small, not, not like I was in, in, in Germany, like and it was a, a small pit. And uh, then I went, I went to the club and I had a look there, fetched that photo in them, and uh, I went there and had a look at it. They only got a wheel there for the miners. I wanted to know everything. 
and then I met somebody there, he's still alive now, his father got killed there and he was working as a young lad in a mine, like he's in my age I think he is there, uh, yeah, and uh, he said to me, uh, they lost 260 miners and 200, 280 children lost their father, like in it. And I put it all down there and I went now carrying on. But what did I have to do is uh, Rex Museum wanted me. So I went there to Rex Museum. And I <coughs> had a look there. There was only the big poster for all the miners that got killed. No? And I said, haven't you got nothing else for the uh, uh, miners? No, we haven't got nothing else. Right. But I said, hang on, I make you something. So I made a big piece of coal, a big lump it was, and it said high, and it weighs nearly 200 weight. And I put it down below, the, the thick, the minus, yeah, four minus right on top, and on top four minus standing in the back against the pole, and it says, our last shift and then above them I put the holy angel looking after the miners and that thing is in the Rex Museum lovely they made a lovely thing outside and it's all on the glass like in it and uh, I think the council was fighting for it. They wanted it. They, no, as I said, Rex is having it, the museum. So the people didn't leave any rest for me. Klein was talking to me like in there. I had to come there. Could you make something for us? You know, Klein? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, okay, I start, I make it for you. So I made another piece with a miner on, with, um, one miner on, to, on top, and then uh, it says on the knees that uh, what happened and uh, how many uh, are dead and how many children lost their father. I put everything in in the uh, copper, um, in messing copper, like in, the, in with my name, and that is there as well. It's it's really lovely, and we went there. I guess uh, two two days ago, ne? we went in there, and uh, they made a new all in glass when you come in in the in the museum, and it is in there. So. What did they do? Klein wanted to touch <laughs> it. <laughs> so I had to for them. <laughs> like, isn't it? And uh, I made it there out of coal. It took me uh, six, seven months. And I always had a row with the missus when I was. Black. Nah? Mm. I got a machine, she done uh, 8,000 turns in a second to get the polish on and everything. Well, anyhow, I finished that and I brought it there. And that wasn't enough. The, the, the Crestford Church, you know the Crestford Church? Big church, lovely. They, may, they wanted something. So I made something for them, but 
that was the dearest piece I made. It was all carving inside, ne? with the miners and everything. And I fetched it there, and on top, I made for the church a piece. They only put a candle in. And I said to the vicar, you can have it. But you must give me the truth. Light it 266 ti uh, times for every minor in one year, like in a. Yes, we do it. <laughs> and, uh, and that piece I could have sold it for 8,000 euro. I wouldn't like in it. And all together, and now there was the club. The club came on. Can't you do nothing for us? Like in it. But I said, hang on. I try. So I've, I've finished it and I went there where the wheel is ne? there and they said to me, oh that's lovely, oh, but there was a public house where they are, they, they, the club house, a, pub, a bar. And I said to him, well don't put it in the, in the, in the, in the bar. I said, have you got a place to put that up? Yes, yes we have. So last week I went there, the club. All I could hear is the people what's been in there, they're no more there, there's somebody else there, like in it. And I said, where have we got that piece of coal with the mine on? Oh, we have been hiding it, that nobody can see it. They can't pinch it. No, 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 we kept it, uh, we locked it in. And I said to her, come, let's go to the pub and have a drink. No, I had a drink, lemonade. The bloody thing was standing in the corner in the, in the, in the, in the mine. They're in the club. Everybody was fiddling with it. Oh, I was upset. Like, you know, I said, Cracky, I didn't give you that for... for uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that... I... I, I, I felt ashamed. With, and that woman came out to me and said, No, 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 no. We got it all in under control. That nobody can see it. But we're not ready yet. If we must put a little room for that, and then it comes there, like that. <laughs> Is there anything else you would like to tell us? Well, I was a miner from the beginning on, like in it, and uh, and here too. I I I love it. I said. There's so many mines uh, in Holland, in Belgium. They wanted, they wanted to pay me six, seven thousand for one piece. No, I said you can't have it. I said I got enough to do. I, I, I may give him them one and them one and them one. I said I nearly, I nearly finished with them. No, and they made a new. A new museum in uh, Stein. Well, I said, I make you something, but the last thing. And what did I do? A lump of coal, like that. I gave him, a, I had a photo when I was 34 years old. With the mining, with the cap on and the lamp, like in there. Only I, I never had a big lamp. I only had a small, only like a packet of cigarette. Because I had the other lamp to prove everything for the gas and everything there. And uh, I said to him, I make something for him. So I put my photo in the coal with the helmet on and everything like in it. And uh, I forgot to put the thing on 
from Herbert. So, that was the, the last thing there for the miners. So they got it there Sunday now. Oh, they were happy to have it, like in it. But this is really the last thing I made. I don't fiddle no more. Thank you very much for talking to us. It's been a great pleasure. And yeah. It's nice. It's been nice to have met you. All right. Well, I must tell you, you have been talking to a real, real miner. Good. Yeah. <laughs>